following video is for entertainment purposes only. None of these ideas or theories should be taken seriously, and they are not meant to cause harm to the show or anyone or any company associated with Spirit Writing Free. Another disclaimer, some of these theories are a bit dark and may make this video unsuitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. I should also note that all of the theories I came up with in this video are based only on the TV show and not anything beyond it, such as the novels as I have yet to read the first Spirit Writing Free book. I am Stormy Strike and welcome to Spirit Writing Free Conspiracy Theories. In this conspiracy theory video, we'll be focusing on conspiracy theories explaining the world of Spirit Writing Free. If you've watched my previous Spirit Writing Free videos, you know that the world of Spirit Writing Free bothers me because it doesn't seem to take place in a clear time period. The setting is supposedly supposed to take place in the past, yet the clothing of the characters and how they behave is much more derived of a modern society. They also seem to have electricity as noted by lamps and light posts. So it doesn't really make sense what exact time period is this show supposed to take place in. I have a couple conspiracy theories explaining the world of Spirit Writing Free. My first conspiracy theory is that Spirit Writing Free takes place in an alternate dimension. This is a broad yet rather simple explanation as to why there are so many inconsistencies in the world of Spirit Writing Free. If you don't know what an alternate dimension is, it's basically the idea that there are infinite alternate realities or universes that parallel our own, but are not exactly like our own world. The idea that Spirit Writing Free is taking place in an alternate dimension could explain pretty much everything, even to how the horses in Spirit Writing Free appear more intelligent in some ways, or why this period of time is not anything like from our own history. It actually makes a lot of sense. Supposedly, the author of the Spirit Writing Free novel even said that the world of Spirit Writing Free is a fictional place in time, yet the world of Spirit Writing Free is very similar still to our own in many ways, which is why an alternate universe could be the perfect explanation. Now, I don't believe that the original Spirits Die in the Cimarron film took place in the same world as Spirit Writing Free. Spirit Stein the Cimarron took place in our own dimension in the past. So that does leave a question, however. If Spirit from Spirit Writing Free is the original Spirit's son, then how did Spirit Jr. get to an alternate dimension? Well, there could be a lot of different explanations for exactly how, but basically when Spirit Jr. was in our dimension, he somehow wandered off and went through some kind of portal that took him into an alternate dimension that is the world of Spirit Riding Free. This theory also then explains why we never see any of the other horses from Spirit Stein the Cimarron, such as Spirit and Rain, or even the other humans like Little Creek or the Colonel. This is because Spirit Jr. is the only one who went into another dimension. Everyone else stayed behind and was still in the dimension we live in. This also explains why Spirit Jr. is such a bad herd leader because perhaps he was really young when he went to the other dimension and Spirit never got to really teach him everything about being a good lead stallion. Now another thing about this theory is that it is also the only one in this video that fits the addition of Spirit in the world of Star Stable. Now I know that Star Stable is just a game and Spirit being in it shouldn't be taken seriously and all that, but in conspiracy theory videos, you take everything seriously, and everything is evidence to an idea. So the world of Star Stable could actually be in the same dimension as Spirit Riding Free, because they aren't all that different from each other in some ways. But Star Stable is definitely more technologically advanced, and it does have a lot of magical and fantasy elements to it. So we could think that either Spirit somehow traveled to the land of Star Stable, or perhaps Star Stable is in a completely different dimension from our world and Spirit Riding Free, and Spirit just once again traveled to another dimension. Perhaps Spirit Jr. actually has something special about him 
that makes him prone to traveling to alternate universes, which is how he ends up in multiple different worlds. Okay, so that's my theory about Spirit Riding Free being an alternate dimension. I know the part about Star Stable and dimension traveling starts to make it a little much, but honestly, it's the only theory in this video that I actually kind of believe because it totally makes sense. I do have another theory to explain the world of Spirit Riding Free, but beware that this one is a bit darker. My second theory is that Spirit Riding Free takes place in the future. Now, I know that doesn't sound dark, but what is, is how to explain that it takes place in the future. Now, unfortunately, to explain this theory, we have to ignore the idea that Spirit Jr. is Spirit's direct son. Instead, we have to rather assume that he is just a descendant of Spirit down a long line of generations. Okay, so how is it that Spirit Riding Free could take place in the future when, one, many things look like they are from the past, and two, there's no advanced technology? You'd think in the future that people would still be using technology like we have today, or more advanced versions of the technology we already have. Well, there's a few events that could have taken place to explain this. Alright, so this one is rather dark. In this theory, it's the idea that in the future, a huge catastrophe hits the world. Something like a gigantic nuclear war, or a giant natural disaster, or like a meteor, or something along those lines. We can stay broad on exactly what catastrophe took place, but the basic idea is that a huge catastrophe caused mayhem to our world that causes us to basically revert back to the Stone Age, although perhaps not quite that far back. A lot of our technology is rendered useless, and what's left deteriorates with not enough intelligence and resources to build our society back up again to what it was. People have to therefore revert back to more simplistic ways of living, without advanced technology. Spirit Riding Free would take place many, many years after the large catastrophe, probably several generations later to where people don't really remember what life was like before the tragedy. This is where the human society starts to repeat its past, explaining why everything seems to be much simpler living without technology, yet there are still many things from previous modern society that people have retained, such as ideas about styles of clothing, or even how people behave. This theory could also explain why the horses in Spirit Riding Free seem to understand humans better than our modern day ones, because if these horses are from the future, Perhaps they evolved to be more intelligent and have an even closer relationship to people. Now I have one more theory for this video explaining the world of Spirit Riding Free. And that is the theory that Spirit Riding Free takes place in a society that denies modern technology. So for this theory to make sense, it would have to take place around our modern time. This is a theory that Spirit Riding Free is in our modern world but they live in a country or society that denies modern technology and ideas. This actually isn't too far-fetched in that it is something that happens in our modern world with countries like North Korea, although I don't think the world of Spirit Riding Free is that extreme. The idea is that Spirit Riding Free takes place somewhere, probably in North America, although for the sake of this theory to make sense, it would have to be a fictional place. The city Lucky came from and the town of Miradera are within a state of government that doesn't allow outsiders in and does not establish ways for modern technology to work, keeping the setting of spirit riding free in what seems like an older time period. Yet despite keeping the outside world out, the world of spirit riding free is of course going to find ways to evolve and change, which is how things like more modern looking clothing come about. It is also possible that occasionally people from the outside world sneak in throughout time and help to spur along some of these more modern-like changes. Now again, in order for this theory to work, Spirit Jr. would have to be an older descendant of Spirit and not his direct son. So there are my three conspiracy theories that explain the world of Spirit Riding Free. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know to make more. 
Feel free in the comment section to tell me if you believe in any of these conspiracy theories or if you have your own theory about how the world of spirit riding free makes sense to you. I also want to stress again that this video is just all in good fun. I'm not meaning to cause any ill harm or anything of that sort. I do actually like spirit riding free and I just thought it'd be fun to play around with coming up with different conspiracy theories for it. And I was also just like super inspired by Shane Dawson's conspiracy theory videos and so I thought it'd be super fun to try and do my own but with something that I talk about and do videos on all the time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you would like for me to do more spirit writing free conspiracy theory videos, let me know. I have a lot of other conspiracy theories that involve more about the characters and the stories in spirit writing free. However, some of them are like really, really dark and I don't know if people would be interested in those or not. So please let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video.